The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I'm on my way down. I'm on. Bloopers! <laughs> you just saw me almost drop the camera. One of the things I love to do when I. Sometimes you just can't miss a good opportunity. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. If you guys have been watching the show, you guys have probably met my grandma before. We've dubbed her the Boa Grandma. She called me the other week. She said she was going up to Jacksonville to visit my Uncle Eddie. And I'm like, oh, who are you going with? And she's like, no, I'm just going by myself. Not anymore, I'm going with you. I haven't seen Uncle Eddie in at least a decade. I'm so excited. I want to remember this. I want, I want to keep this very. This is I going to be so much fun. I told everybody, pray that it's going to be a weekend of creative It's going to be memories. so much fun. Okay. I got the game. I got music. You got games. What games you got? What do you got the games? The game. Me and you are hitting the road. That's it. Yeah. I got no schedules. No schedules except the daylight finishes. That's for you. I am not a vampire. I can drive at night. <laughs> I told you I don't like to travel at night because I get bored with the darkness and I can't see anything. I love to see the road. Good thing I talk a lot. I'll be able to keep it going. <laughs> yep, uh, the journey begins. Yes. The experience was really cool because it was the first time I can really go out there with my grandma on a different level though. We had a relationship when I was in my childhood, but there was that gap there. A little rainy, but we got this, right, Grandma? All right. You know what time it is? Time to. What? It's food time! Woo! Hoo, 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 food hoo. time? You want some of those? Concentrating on my bear. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that I was telling the team a lot is that this is also the first time in a little over six years that I've ever gone on a trip without the team. So it was a weird feeling. Are you kidding? We have to have fun! <laughs> uh oh, we got some music now. Bring that out. He's good. Uh oh. Andre. Ryu. Ryu. Time flies, because we were on the road for a while, but me and Grandma were just having fun. I really thought about Bert when me and Grandma were getting in kind of the history of the family, and she was telling me a lot of cool stuff. How long did you live in Germany? Four years. Bert actually told me beforehand that he was all excited because he saw this as a really cool moment to connect with your family. Not only the fact that not everyone has a grandma, or not everyone has a grandma that's willing to go on a trip, just randomly. It's, it's something that's priceless. I, I didn't know I was seeing you until the past couple hours when she was like, and guess who we're gonna see? I'm like, no way! So I'm excited. That was a bunch of different things. I mean, you know, I, I, I was so excited to see the family. I haven't seen him forever. And, but nervous at the same time, you know? It was just, it was weird. Oh, uh, Green Cove Springs. Green Cove Springs. One mile. We made it. What in there, guy? So I was really looking forward to reconnect with my Uncle Eddie. One of the cool things that I know about him is he's he's a nature lover. Oh. Over here in the forest. Are there bears uh, in there? It says there is, but I have never seen it. That's what matters. He'll protect us. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a, a, a state forest like a block down from his house. It's so crazy how you go from, you know, they, they keep calling me a, a city boy, and you know, I am. This is beautiful. It would be great to take a canoe down here. Yeah, but it's all just drifting. Yeah. Going that way. Yeah, you wouldn't have to do anything. I think something that I picked up from Uncle Eddie was that he really connects. He showed me how tranquil it is out there. The water was way up much longer. I thought it would be more higher than this. It changes depending on the rain, you know what I mean, see the levels over there. 
we had fun just you know exploring we had we had no destination we were just going straight zigzag that way it was a blast zap you anything in here look at the clear clear water my god look at that spot one thing you have to know when you take grandma out you have to make sure not to slow her down i didn't say that backwards Grandma will get tired after you get tired. She's amazing. She was going through the forest like nothing. My grandma has no limits and that's why she's the ball grandma. So the rest of the day was just full of more bonding. You know, we got to relax, have fun with games. Grandma says she's the inventor of this game. In this family. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's whooping us. What's up with that, man? Today's not your day, son. I, I come to your house, want to spend time with you, and you smack me in this Ooh. game. There's no crying in try on ones. I wasn't crying. <laughs> he's got a, a, a nice big backyard here, and he's got a bunch of uh, animals here. What you doing? What you doing? Where you going? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. And you guys must be the shepherd dogs, yeah? I just want to pet you. <laughs> there you go. Two chickens, two dogs, and a cat. And they all just get along. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> going to St. Augustine today. So, um gonna meet uh not meet but see my cousin my other cousin that I haven't also seen him in more than like 10 15 years something like that it's just, it's just it's a it's been a long time since I've done this I gotta get my church hat gotta get his church hat you can go to any church any temple really wherever and you can still get a really awesome message So one of the reasons why we were going to this specific church is to meet up with my cousin Jeffrey. We were meeting up with him in the crowd, so I was looking around and there's just that weird feeling, you know, of, you know, you don't know what to expect, but you're so excited. It's weird. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Oh my so happy to see him again. I got to meet his wife, his children. It's just a really cool feeling to see family you haven't seen in so long. Our next stop was St. Augustine. There's a family youth back in here. We've traveled probably by a lot <laughs> out of all the road tours we do here, but we just happen to never stop at St. Augustine. Beautiful fort. I have been here a lot with my children. I remember your mom right there, up and down. Fine, it's a beautiful day. So after we got a little food break, got to enjoy the atmosphere a little bit, we wanted to explore the fort. So St. Augustine is the oldest city in the United States. It was actually founded in the 1500s. And the fort that's there, which is the Castillo de San Marco, was actually created in the 1600s. So we did get to see some cool stuff. We got to see them shoot cannons off. They had really cool exhibits throughout the whole thing. There's a little guy. <laughs> This is where I remember years back when we came in here, the children down there messing around and running around. I remember Sandy and their friend Gilbert and uh, Eddie was very young. But areas like this where they just romped around. Was my mom a troublemaker? No. <laughs> and then we got to check out St. George Street, which reminded me a little bit of the French Quarter. And I was expecting it to be just like one street, but it turned out to be a whole city there. It's really cool. There's this gorgeous old tree, and I don't know how this is possible, but there is a palm tree growing out of it. Look right there. That's a palm tree still. How is that possible? I had to. Just because just I'm on the road, I had to go to the Harley store. Which means I had to get Bert and I the poker chips, so. Now we have the poker chips from St. Augustine. You were wondering about a Harley Davidson shop. I know, right? <laughs> and the architecture they have, they have churches, cathedrals. Another church. Oh my god, but the churches here it's are gorgeous. Story. Everything here is historic. Everything. St. Augustine is historic. They have this really cool college. So this is Flagler College and it looks gorgeous. <laughs> so in all, I had a great weekend. That's it. I said goodbye to Uncle Eddie this morning at 5 in the morning. And um it's bittersweet, you know. My eyes and ears were open, that's for sure. But then also, you know, I know that I started um, this relationship again because I haven't seen him in over 10 years. So, you know, what? that was the first step into getting back into each other's lives. So I'm really excited. Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time with Uncle Eddie. I know. Oh, he was is. amazing. He's a little teddy bear. What just happened, Grandma? We just made 
You made a hundred dollars on a gold rush ticket, a five dollar <laughs> ticket, she, and I made five. She, I freed myself. She bought one of these, and I scratched it off, and I kept scratching. I'm like, ooh, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Yeah. I got a hundred dollars. I put three. I gave him two. The big winner. <laughs> And I, and I kept my five dollars. At least it freed me from the cost of the ticket. Well, you got a finder's fee. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go get you some money, kid. I can't believe this. Look at this. I have what? Did I have five? You have five? Yeah. Oh my god! Isn't that crazy? I can't believe this. I love when I make money on vacation. What's the What's the finder's fee? Finder's fee here. Oh, you always get ten percent. 10%. <laughs> I can't believe you're going home blessed. There's home. Grandma, we made it. Gotta have a motorcycle in the front. <laughs> My motorcycle's in the front, don't worry. Hey! Hey! Hi. How you doing? I'm no Z. No. What's up, bro? You too, We're going, man. You doing good? God bless you. Whoa. Anybody that's your size. I have a nice pair of shoes that I can put <laughs> <laughs> What did we learn today? One of the most important lessons was that you should be spending time with those that you love. You heard the saying, life is way too short. However, a lot of us avoid those that we love and we don't spend quality time. It's not about how much time you spend with these people. It's not about quantity, it's quality. LJ had a great time with his grandmother, the Boa grandmother, and that's what's really important. Those are the memories that no one can take away from you. So I hope you enjoy this episode as much as we enjoy making it for you. Remember, my name is Bert Oliva and keep on making it happen and I'll see you next week. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And, and don't forget to subscribe.